In this video, I'd like to show you how to calculate the rate of change for a line on a graph. You might also be asked, if you're given a graph, what is the slope of this line, or what is the steepness of the line? And the rate of change and the slope are the same thing. So this graph is showing you a little story about something traveling in miles, and it's keeping track of its distance as the hours go by, from zero to four hours. So one thing that you might be tempted to do is you might be tempted to say, oh, there's a point on the graph right there. And I can see at that point, the distance is 20, the time is two hours, so 20 miles in two hours would be 10 miles per hour. But if you would get that answer, you would be wrong. That is not the correct answer. And the reason is, this is not a directly proportional relationship. And the reason I can tell that is, we're not starting at zero. The starting point is 5. So in those 2 hours of time, you didn't actually travel 20 miles. So you can't just do any y value divided by x value. So what we're going to do here to get the rate of change, rate of change, also known as the steepness or the slope of the line, what I'm going to do instead of just doing um, 20 miles divided by 2 hours, I have to get the change how far did the person actually travel? So if I'm going to start here, I can see that person traveled from 5 to 20, which is an increase of 15 miles. And they did so in how many hours? They did so in 2 hours. Now I can see that they traveled 15 miles in 2 hours, so now I can simply do miles per hour, miles divided by hours. And when I do 15 miles divided by 2 hours, I get 7.5, 7 7.5 miles per hour. So there's how you can get the rate of change of this line. So I just check to see how much the line rose divided by how much it moved to the right. The change in the y values divided by the change in the x values, or the miles divided by hours. So if I switch to a different graph, one like this. So I've got another line on a graph, but this time there's no story to this one. I've got values for my x-axis, I've got values on my y-axis, but there's no story. There's no miles per hour or feet per second or anything like that. But I can still describe the steepness of this line. I can still describe the rate of change. But instead of this time doing miles per hour, I can still pick two points on the line, like there and there. I can still pick two points, but I'm not going to do miles divided by hours anymore. But I can still say, well, how much does the line go up and how much does the line go over? What I'm doing is I'm calculating more generally this time the change in the y values divided by the change in the x values. Before it was miles per hour, now it's change in y divided by change in x. And a lot of times we'll describe that as rise over run because the change in the y values is how much you're going up and down. The change in the x values is how much you're going side to side. So rise divided by run. And on this graph for this line, it looks like I'm rising four y's and I'm moving to the right by one x. So my rise over run, rise divided by run, is 4 divided by 1, or just 4. So the steepness of this line, or the slope of this line, the rate of change of this line is 4 y's for every x. 4 y's per x, or just 4. If I do one more, again, I've got a, a line here on a graph. There's no story. I don't know what x represents, I don't know what y represents, but I've got my rate of change. And to get the rate of change for this line, I want to do the change in y divided by the change in x, which is also the rise divided by run. So I want to pick two points on the line where I know the exact value, like there's a good one, and there's a good one. And I want to get my rise, or my change in y, divided by the run the change in x. So let's get the rise first. As I go from this point to this point, I have to go down one. So there's my rise. Down is negative. So my rise is negative one. And then my run 
is to the right, one, two, three, so that's going to be a positive three. So the rate of change of this line, again, no miles per hour or anything, but just y's and x's. I lose one y for every three x's, or negative one y for every positive three x's, or just negative one third is my slope. You could also think of it as down one third, right one, down one third, right one, down one third, right one, and that would also get you to the slope. I could even draw that on there. Down one third, right one, down one third, right one, down one third, right one. Either way, that is how you can calculate the rate of change when you're looking at a graph, either with units and with a story or without.